Hello and welcome the viewers. My name is Hardik Pajapat. I am a CA finance student. In this video, I am going to take you to the circular recently issued, circular number 11, dated 8th May 2020, issued by Ministry of Finance. It is regarding a clarification of residential status as per Income Tax Act 1961. So, talking about Section 6 of Income Tax Act 1961, there are two set of conditions that are prescribed in this section. One set is the basic conditions that clear cut defines a person being a resident or a non resident. And on the other hand, the secondary set of conditions that prescribes after being a resident whether a person is classified as ordinary resident or a not ordinary resident. So, to begin with, talking about the basic conditions, there are in these basic conditions, there are two sub-conditions, either of them fulfilled and you are an odd and you are a resident. First condition, that is, a person has to stay in India for at least 182 days during the current during the previous financial year. Or second condition, that is, he has to stay in India for at least 60 days out of in the current previous year, as well as as well as means this sub-condition two has two conditions and total stay of at least 365 days in the preceding four years preceding the previous year. Now talking about the additional conditions. Additional conditions have two sub-conditions. Both of them need to be fulfilled. Number one, he has to stay in India at least 730 days in seven years preceding the previous financial year. Sub-conditions need to be fulfilled simultaneously. Second condition means he has to be a resident in India for at least two years out of the 10 years preceding the previous financial year as per basic rule number one. So these were the basic conditions. So this circular was issued to clarify the various representations seeked by the people facing nominal doubt. It's valid. Yes, there were certain doubts regarding how to calibrate the period of stay due to the unnecessary, unrequited hardships that they faced. So, Various representations that I am talking about. Kuch log aaye the India mein for a period of visit in India, keeping in mind that yes, they need to leave the India regarding a, for a particular period of time so that their non residential status is not affected. But as we all know, due to the spread of this COVID 19 pandemic, novel coronavirus, and the extensions of the lockdowns, they were unable to do so. So they faced the genuine hardships. So, regarding that, Regarding this clarification on period of stay, now how to calculate period of stay? As we all know that the basic conditions as well as the additional conditions require calculation of period of stay. So regarding this clarification, I had summarized the points herein. So first of all, if a person came to visit in India on or before 22nd March 2020, but as for the reasons you know, he was unable to leave India on or before 31st March or he has departed on an evacuation flight on or before 31st March, as the case may be. So his period of stay will exclude the period that commences from 22nd March and ends on 31st March. This was the clarification that was issued. Talking about another point of the clarification which says, if a person has came into India before or on 22nd March 2020, but was quarantined in India on or after 1st March, and he was departed on an evacuation flight on or before 31st March. So his period of stay will exclude the period that commences from the very first day of his quarantine till the day he was evacuated in a flight or 31st March 2020 as the case may be. So this was all that the clarification was uh, trying to communicate. And yes, sir, this was a clarification of residential status section 6 of the Income Tax Act 1961.